guys think that doing this truck driving thing is easy. But I wanted to tell y'all in the previous video, but I forgot about it because I erased the video. Check this out, YouTube. Check this out. I am here picking up my load up here in America in Rochelle. Hooked up to my empty trailer. And now I'm about to head over to Aurora to pick up my load from Kraft. That's taking me home. Woo. Damn it, man. Got caught. But anyway, I'm picking up my load from a uh, craft. I got enough time. Oh, gotta go back up there and release it. I got enough time to uh, grab this uh, load, but I'm not gonna drive because I won't have no time to drive. So I will be up in Ohio tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is try to get up early in the morning, right? Try to get up early in the morning and get this bad boy up in Ohio by noon tomorrow. Yo, I think I found something. I think I found something. I think I found something that might be of a, that might be of an interest to us truck drivers out here. You know what I'm saying? This probably might be a little bit something for the new drivers to, to probably understand as well. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if I talk about it, maybe you'll, you'll probably understand it. So you guys think that doing this truck driving thing is easy. But I wanted to tell y'all in the previous video, but I forgot about it because I erased the video. That's kind of messed up, right? But I'm about to tell you about what I feel because this this, this comment is so genuine and so close to all of us here out here doing this trucking thing. You know what I'm saying? And to you guys that want to hurry up and think that this game is all about fame and it really isn't. But check this out. Before you guys start to think that this trucking thing is, is a good thing to get into. I mean, it is for some people. But listen to what I have to say from this Facebook post right quick before you finalize your decision. All right, check it out, look. I know we make this truck driving thing look easy, but it isn't, it really isn't. We endure long hours on a trainer's truck. When you hop off that trainer's truck, it's gonna be a little bit easier, but you know when you get on a trainer's truck in any big company, especially when you come out of school, you're gonna have to hit the trainer's truck. Now, when you get out here on the road and you're brand new to the game, you're gonna you you're gonna have to hit the training. Now, majority of these big companies out here, they do a lot of training. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna endure a lot of hours on a trainer's truck. You're gonna endure the attitude, the 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 depression, or whatever that other driver that other driver trainer has, you know what I'm saying? I know from talking to a couple of drivers out here that some driver trainers can be horrible. You know what I'm saying? Is some of them can be horrible. Turn off the horrible-tation. I don't know if that's a word. That's a word, horrible-tation? But anyway, if you could turn off of being horrified by that driver, then getting out to that bag is gonna be a lot easier than you think. You know what I'm saying? That time is gonna go because you're gonna go concentrate on getting your training in. You know what I'm saying? Whether he's he or she is a smoker, 
has attitude problem or politics. My biggest suggestion for you guys when y'all get on any trainer's truck is to not to talk politics, all right? Because your politics and his politics is gonna be real different and it's gonna clash. And you don't want that. Your job is just to get on there, learn what he got to teach you, and get going. Countless lonely nights in a twin size bunk. They ain't kidding. They, these bunks ain't big. They, you, don't, don't, don't let people fool you. This, this is what you gotta contend with. That's, that's my bunk right there. That bad boy's small as fuck. And it's, it, but it's, it's small as fuck. But that's, that's what you're gonna contend with out there. You're gonna be in that. You're gonna jump from the bunk to the jump seat, from the jump seat back into the bunk. From the bunk to the jump seat, from the jump seat back into the bunk because you're gonna be tired. You're gonna be tired, you know what I'm saying? Driving 11, 8, 11, 10, 11, 14 hours a day is tiresome. You feel me? It is tiresome, man. You're going to sleep in a truck. Your address is gonna be that truck. Your address is gonna be where, which one of these truck stops you park at at night. And make sure you stay safe while you're in there. You're gonna miss many birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, and special occasions. Now, if you do it right, you might be able to make it. I think I made a video like this before. You're gonna be missing your kids growing up. You know, you're gonna leave home, your kid gonna be one years old, you're gonna, and crawling, and then you're gonna come back home, and your kid gonna be like two years old and walking, and you're gonna be like, yo, where the time went? God damn it, man. One of those other truck drivers that don't wanna miss special occasions like that, then you definitely gotta make sure that you get that time in prior to that date so that you can get home on time. Is it gonna always work? I don't think so. I don't think it never works. You just gotta, you, you just gotta hope that it works, right? We are often visitors in our own home. I mean, when you get to your home, I, I don't even sleep in my bed. I mean, I have other reasons for not sleeping in my bed, but I mean, you're only home for a couple of days, so how can you really get comfortable, right? Some of us prefer the over the road lifestyle and some of us prefer the regional and the local lifestyle. This is my goal right now. I already got one goal down. I'm in the midst of my second goal, which is running regional. The end game is to run local so I could be home every day and every weekend. You see what I'm saying? But we all have to pay our dues like our men, right? I did, I paid, I'm still paying. I'm being charged for making these. Can't, I, I, I can't say what it is. I, I can't say what more it is. It's a lifestyle, man. Whether you want to go over the road and live your life over the road because that's what you're going to do. You're going to have to adapt to the over the road lifestyle. You're going to have to adapt to getting up in the morning, going into a truck stop, washing up, showering, sharing the restroom with 50 million other truckers that's out here getting up at odding times to get that to get that load there if it has to be there at one o'clock in the morning two o'clock in the morning you got to change the way you 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 sleep you got to change your habit your habits it's going to change when you get out here now if you're a local driver then maybe your habits won't change as much as if you was to come over the road. Now, if you're local, only thing you gotta contend with is to be home every day, right? But we all have to pay our dues to that open road. Long trips, these long sacrifices, everything I need to do to make a better truck driver out of myself, right? Those dues have to be paid. It is not for the fact. 
or for the weak. I kind of agree. It's not. It's not for the for the faint of heart. It's definitely not for the weak. For the weak, you you, you can't be weak minded out here. You got to have a strong mind, a strong foundation to get out here and do this work and get to this bag. A lot of you guys really don't have that. It's a drive that you're going to have to muster up and, and, and get on that. You feel me? This lonely life we live will break you. Yeah, it will. If you if you're the type of person that likes to be home, if you're the type of person that likes to go out, if you're the type of person that likes to party and bullshit, it will challenge you. It will put you in a space to think like, yo, is this for me? Think about it. Think about it. We are one, though. We are one. And one are we. We are truckers, keepers from the driver's seat. I like this. I like this post. I really do. This is a good ass post. Something that a lot of you new drivers and a lot of you old time veterans should think about. We are one out here, right? Or at least we supposed to be. Not everybody feels that way though. I guess we can't, I guess we all can't be happy, right? That's it, think about it. Think about this little, this little post from Facebook. And holler at your boy if you have any questions. If you have any questions for me to answer, I will answer it on the video. I will also, huh, I will also talk about any comments that you have on any subject, all right? Let's make it a one-on-one, -on -one, you know? Because I really do appreciate you guys for watching and while you at it hook a brother up with some coffee and when you do i will make sure i acknowledge you and send you a picture on my instagram let you know of the coffee you just hooked me up with i appreciate it links in the description and in the comments below get at your boy i'll talk to you guys later in another video peace